Hello friends, in this video we are going to discover the top 10 poorest countries in the world. The world has enough wealth and resources to ensure that the entire human race enjoys a basic standard of living. Yet people in countries continue to live in desperate poverty. About 1 in every 10 people on earth, survive on just $1.90 per day or less, the World Bank's extreme poverty threshold. Poorest countries are among the most unsafe countries to visit in the world. But how do we measure how poor or wealthy a given nation is compared to another? While GDP per capita is often considered the standard metric, by compensating for differences in living costs and rates of inflation the Purchasing Power Parity PPP, can better assess an individual's buying power in any given country. It is hard to pinpoint a single cause of long-term poverty. Dictatorial and corrupt governments can make what could be a very rich nation into a poor one. And so does a history of exploitative colonization, weak rule of law, war and social unrest, severe climate conditions or hostile, aggressive neighbors. Hence why economists often refer to cycles of poverty. For example, a country in debt will not be able to afford good schools, and a poorly educated workforce will be less capable of fixing problems and creating conditions that will attract foreign investment. Kindly make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon before we start this video about the 10 poorest countries in the world. This type of poverty tends to concentrate in certain areas with relatively low incomes. Gross national income, or GNI, is the sum of money earned by a country's population and businesses within a given year. It includes income earned by corporations or persons based in a given country but operating outside of its borders. GNI is a useful measure for determining the overall income of a country. The measure helps indicate which countries are the richest and the poorest in the world. To determine the poorest countries in the world, 24-7 Wall Street reviewed data on gross national income per capita for 193 countries and special regions with available data from the World Bank. The World Bank estimates GNI per capita using the purchasing power parity method, and figures are in current international dollars. All data on GNI per capita is based on the most recent available year for a given country. Additional data on GDP in current US dollars, population, life expectancy at birth, and access to electricity also came from the World Bank. All data is for the most recent year available for every country. Three of the countries in our list are in or part of the Sahel region, where persistent and widespread droughts cause food shortages and associated medical and social problems. Five of them are landlocked, putting them at a considerable disadvantage relative to those with access to maritime trade when it comes to both importing and exporting goods. All have experienced political instability, disputed elections, and ethnic or religious strife. So now let's dig deeper into the top 10 poorest countries in the world. Number 10 on the list of poorest countries in the world is Madagascar. Although this remains a list of the world's poorest nations, some of the nations on this list are actually making progress in securing economic stability for themselves. Madagascar, unfortunately, is not one of these countries. Over the last 20 years, the standard of living within this island country has declined significantly. With a population of more than 20 million people, Madagascar has a GDP per capita of $463, with about 70% of the nation's people living under the poverty line. Once again reliant primarily on agriculture, the vulnerability of the industry, lack of potent farming land, and the growing population only make their economic situation worse and worse over time. Number 9 on the list of poorest countries in the world is Liberia. The Second Liberian Civil War was a conflict within Liberia that lasted from 1999 all the way through 2003. A quick look at history will show that wars generally don't leave involved nations economically intact as a result. Liberia is no exception to this. Having just been subject to a 14-year-long political conflict that not only ravaged lands but also needed to make use of some of Liberia's already finite resources, the nation was left economically crumbled by the civil war. It is also of no benefit that Liberia is, once again, primarily reliant on agriculture to drive its economy. 
The GDP per capita of the war-torn nation stands at $454.30. It was estimated that more than 80% of the nation's people were living less with less than $1.25 per day. With low yields due to old farming technologies, as well as having overall poor infrastructure, Liberia only marks the halfway point down this list of the poorest countries in the world. Number 8 on the list of poorest countries in the world is Malawi. Holding a population of 16 million while also being one of the smallest African nations doesn't set you up for accumulation or distribution of wealth. Arguably the most underdeveloped nation in the world, Malawi suffers greatly in essentially all categories available. Access to education, the general standard of healthcare, infrastructure, and quality of living conditions are all limited or substandard. Because the nation is unable to develop in general, therefore all intents and purposes stuck with trying to drive their economy using only the most primitive levels of agriculture. With common weather variations, as well as injuries and fatalities facilitated by poor health care, Malawi's world's lowest GDP per capita of $226.50 doesn't seem like it will be rising too significantly anytime soon. Number 7 on the list of poorest countries in the world is Niger. Aside from being one of the world's poorest, Niger stands as one of the world's most underdeveloped nations across several categories. Although it continues to make developments in reducing infant mortality and enhancing education, the development category of poverty has unfortunately remained rather stagnant, keeping the nation's GDP per capita at $415.40. Niger's economy is driven by two main forces, the extraction of valuable natural resources available within the nation, including gold, uranium, and even oil, and small-scale agriculture. Unfortunately, both of these economic sources can easily be devastated by random shifts in climate and weather, and thus Niger has struggled in developing themselves economically. Number 6 on the list of poorest countries in the world is Mozambique. Mozambique has plenty of arable land and water. Not only that, but it has plenty of energy and mineral resources. Despite that, it's one of the poorest countries in the world, with the majority of the population living well below the poverty line. As it is, there are several reasons for this including corruption, severe climate conditions, and political instability. In 2020, a French company secured nearly $16 billion in funding for a natural gas facility in the area. Many had hoped that the project would mark the start of a new beginning for the former Portuguese colony, but the project was ultimately suspended indefinitely after an escalation of violent attacks in the region. Number 5 on the list of poorest countries in the world is the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Directly juxtaposing the previous entry in the list, the Democratic Republic of the Congo is Africa's second-largest country, holding a staggering population of roughly 77 million people. A large population isn't always a good thing, however, as, especially in poorer nations, this just means there is less money to go around. What is even more intriguing about this case, however, is the fact that the Democratic Republic of the Congo is actually very rich in valuable natural resources. Similarly, the land expands over 2.35 million square kilometers, much of which is forests, although it also holds a great expanse of farmable lands and waters. In spite of all of these things, the Democratic Republic of the Congo has been subject to a very unstable, corrupt political system that has been holding back the potential of the nation's wealth drastically. As a result of this, with a GDP per capita of $484.20, a large portion of the nation's people remain unemployed, and their lack of money thus results in their living within greatly inadequate living conditions. Number 4 on the list of poorest countries in the world is the Central African Republic. Like Liberia, the Central African Republic has in the past been the victim of war and significant political instability. The landlocked Central African nation also supports very, very poor infrastructure, thus limiting the efficiency of the distribution of the nation's resources. Furthermore, this nation also shares similarities with most other African nations in that its economy is mostly directed by agriculture, although an estimated 45% of the Central African Republic's export revenues are from diamonds. However, 
Because of the poor infrastructure and governance that the nation has to deal with, only about 4% of the actual arable land that the nation holds is actually used. As a result, the majority of the working population that works within the industry suffers immensely. Number 3 on the list of poorest countries in the world is Somalia. Decades of droughts and floods coupled with massive levels of unemployment, especially among young people, have made Somalia one of the world's poorest nations. According to UNDP statistics, the country has a poverty rate of 73%. Their GDP was projected to grow over 4% in 2022, still, the World Bank states that the country could have a brighter future. For one thing, the Somali government has pledged its commitment to charting a course toward better growth and resilience. Number 2 on the list of poorest countries in the world is South Sudan. South Sudan is the youngest country in the world. Once part of Sudan, they had separated to form a separate nation in 2011. Just two years later, however, a conflict broke out after the president accused his former deputy of staging a coup. As a result, nearly 400,000 people were killed. What's interesting, is that the country also ranks third in oil reserves in sub-Saharan Africa. Rising security-related costs and falling commodity prices, however, have hammered the economy. Violence has also continued to ravage the landlocked state. Number one on the list of poorest countries in the world is Burundi. Having suffered from recurring violence and political disputes, it is no surprise that Burundi ranks as the second poorest nation in the world, even though the country is working tirelessly to rebuild itself. Aside from the estimated 300,000 civilian casualties resulting in a 67% poverty rate, the violent political rivalries were also detrimental to Burundi's agricultural development. Even now, the nation ravaged by war holds very little farmable land, and any land that may be used for small-scale farming is still fragile due to the vulnerability to shifting climates and weather conditions. With the population growing rapidly, food prices rising, Burundi places as the second poorest country in the world. So, which country would you like to visit among the top 10 poorest countries in the world? Well, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content of this video, click the subscribe button so you can receive more content like this. Post your thoughts on the top 10 poorest countries in the world in the comments below. I'd love to read them and I'm sure others would too.